Some breaking inputs from Vainad, where Congress MLAs and workers are staging a silent protest outside the state assembly. This is, of course, against the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi as a member of parliament. Remember, uh, the Congress has been upping its ante, and as far as Vainad is concerned, even on Friday there was protest. Uh, there were separate protest marches in major parts of the Vainad constituency, uh, of which Rahul Gandhi is a member of the parliament. Of course, as we all know, it, he's been disqualified, but the Congress is now intensifying its campaign against the disqualification. As we all know, in the national capital as well, uh, the Congress M other Congress MPs have now decided to conduct a Chalo Dili campaign as well. But for now, we are bringing you the latest visuals from Vayanad. As of now, we know that this was uh, supposed to be a silent protest, but there does seem to be uh, a lot of anger brewing within these feeder forums and the Congress workers in Bayanad. They are, of course, uh, uh, demanding that the disqualification is not justified and uh, that it is the end of democracy. That's why they've also called it a black day. The Congress is now turning violent. It's a pan-India protest as we know. As you can see, those are uh, some Congress workers who are now trying to trip over the barricades. A lot of anger and frustration within the Congress workers. As we can see, there's a lot of security also beefed up. Suddenly, uh, we can see the temperatures rising. A lot of anger and wrath on the ground. For more details, let's quickly go across to our reporter Neetu who's on the phone line. Neetu, this was supposed to be a silent march, but it seems there's a lot of anger and this may just escalate further. See, uh, this, uh, the, the protests uh, uh, right from yesterday, what we are seeing is not really very silent uh, across the state because the KSU, the Youth Congress, the Congress workers, they are agitated, they are upset with whatever has happened with uh, the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi. Now, this is in his constituency in Vainad yeah. where we are seeing protests. And uh, um, uh, right now we can see that the workers have climbed on top of the barricade. Uh, they, try, they are raising slogans against the administration, against the central government, against BJP and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself and saying that uh, this is uh, not a democracy which is, the, which is uh, happening right now. This is actually the death of democracy. These are the kinds of slogans that have been raised and uh, full support for Rahul Gandhi in solidarity with Rahul Gandhi. So um, this is what we are seeing on the streets of Kerala right now. Last night, the protest in uh, Thiruvananthapuram, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the state capital itself has turned violent when, it, uh, when the march towards Rajpa, when the KSU and the Youth Congress workers, there were protests uh, which led to police lati charge, heavy lati charge by the police. Many of the Youth Congress workers were injured, but still we could see that on the ground that the workers are not backing off. They are... Uh, showing their protests in the, in the, in the, uh, in the possible way by being out on the streets, taking out protest march uh, uh, towards the central government um, right. establishment. Neetu, uh, I'm going to request you to continue staying with us. Uh, of course, uh, what's happening in Wayanad seems to be uh, turning into an angry protest, very rightly mentioned by uh, Ritu that this was never supposed to be, a, uh, uh, this was expected to be much agitated. But in the meantime, as we've also been highlighting that these are pan-India protests that have been taking place, let's also get you a ground report from Bhopal. So Congress is holding a unique protest in Bhopal. You can see they are having black mask with lock on their face. So this is the protest on Rahul being disqualified from Lok Sabha after he's being convicted in a criminal defamation case. And we will ask him, what kind of mask you have put on your face? What kind of mask you have ये एक तरीके से विरोध है ये बताना चाहते हैं आपके माध्यम से देश के अंदर जनता को दिखाना चाहते हैं कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी लोगों के मुंह पे सच बोलने पर ऐसे ताल लगाती है ऐसे चाहती है कि मुंह बंद करके रहें मगर लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है और ये हम बताना चाहते हैं 
कि ताला लगा के नहीं रख सकते हम उस नेता के कार्यकर्ता हैं जिसने नारा दिया है डरो मत हम फिर संसद में पहुंचेंगे और फिर जनता की आवाज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल The Act 103, Article of the Constitution says that it should first go to the President of the India. He will then take a rai from the Chunao Ayog, and then he'll come back with a final opinion. Those rules were not followed; they were completely bypassed, and a decision was taken in a hurry, which is totally unconstitutional. And we are protesting against that. So this is the protest by the Congress in Bhopal, and they are protesting that Rahul Gandhi is being disqualified. From Lok Sabha on these are not the proper ground for his disqualification from Lok Sabha. All right, so that was the silent sit-in protest uh, that we saw in Bhopal. But uh, we, at the same time, are also bringing you those angry, agitated visuals coming in from Wayanad, where much anger on the ground. Uh, in the meantime, let me also quickly go across to our correspondent Nikhil Lakhani, who is joining me live from the national capital. Nikhil, we can see the Congress is now intensifying its campaign after much flak received uh, by it for not being vocal enough uh, as far as the disqualification of. Rahul Gandhi is concerned. Uh, do you now see them attacking uh, the the criminal uh, defamation uh, uh, as far as uh, the entire case is concerned? Are they now trying to use criminal defamation uh, as a pitfall for free speech and political opposition? Well, this is the important point which is being raised by you. We will come back to it, but uh, starting with the picture that is now coming in from outside the residence of Rahul Gandhi, who is likely to uh, lose his residence as well, official residence, so to say, 12 Tughlaq Lane. And this is one of the supporter of the Congress Party who has come here outside the residence a, uh, a while back, and he has been unfurling the tricolour for a while now. So this is the picture, unlike what we are seeing from different parts of the country, from the pictures which are coming in of the agitation from Wayanad, from Bhopal as well. This is the picture which is now coming out from the official residence of Rahul Gandhi. Let's try to take a word from him as well. Badi Deir se sir, aapko dekh raha hoon. Aap Tiranga liye yaha pe hai. Kahaan se aayin sabse pahle ye bataiye? Sir, mein Haryana se hoon. Haryana se aayin. Mera naam Pandit Dini Sharma hai. Achha. Or mein Rahul ji ke saath pichle 12 saal se apni yeh seva karta ja raha hoon. Mein ek pratigya li hui hai. Ki jab tak Rahul ji Hindustan ke pradhan mantri nahi ban jate. मैं बिना चप्पल के पूरा हिंदुस्तान राहुल जी के साथ संघर्ष करता रहूंगा ठीक है आज जो आप यहाँ पे पहुंचे हैं क्या भाव लेकर के आप आए हैं क्योंकि कुछ जगह प्रदर्शन चल रहा है लेकिन इधर बाकी जगह से इधर थोड़ा सा आप यहाँ पे एक झंडा फहरा रहे हैं क्या मैसेज देने की और बताने की आप कोशिश कर रहे हैं आज जिस दौर से हिंदुस्तान गुजर रहा है ऐसा दौर शायद पहले कभी देखने को नहीं मिला और इसी तरीके से जो ये तानाशाह का रूप बन पूरे हिंदुस्तान को अपने तरीके से चलाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ये चाह रहे हैं कि हमारे खिलाफ कोई भी आवाज उठाने वाला ना हो और जो भी आवाज उठाने वाला हो उनकी आवाज को हम कुचलने का काम करेंगे उसी तरीके से राहुल जी जिस तरह पूरे देश में एक ही नेता थे जो संसद में मोदी के खिलाफ आवाज उठा सकते ठीक है तो आप उनके सपोर्ट में आप यहाँ पे आए हैं बट जैसा माहौल देख रहे हैं घर के बाहर उनकी उनका सरकारी आवाज है आपको नहीं लगता हम आपकी कदर करते हैं आप हरियाणा से ऑल द वे यहाँ पे आए बट आप अकेले पड़ गए हैं और कोई सपोर्टर दिल्ली में खासकर यहाँ पे देखने को नहीं मिल यहाँ आप देखोगे चारों तरफ पुलिस ही पुलिस लगा रखी है आपने मीडिया वाले भाई को दिखाऊंगा मैं बोलूंगा दिखाइए प्लीज ये पूरी मीडिया आप आए दिखाने के लिए ये देखिए आप जो जहां भी देखोगे पुलिस ही पुलिस आपने पहले देखा दिल्ली पुलिस यहां लगा दी थी यहां पे किसी को आने की अनुमति नहीं दे रहे लेकिन हम राहुल जी के सिपाही हैं हम मरने के लिए तैयार रहेंगे राहुल जी के साथ हमेशा हर दौर में खड़े रहेंगे धन्यवाद ठीक है आप ऐसे ही करते रहिए सो दिस इज पिक्चर वी आर शोइंग यू फ्रॉम आउटसाइड दी रेसिडेंस ऑफ राहुल गांधी वे वन ऑफ दी सपोर्टर हैज कम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम हरियाणा बट कमिंग बैक टू दी अनदर पॉइंट देर इज प्रोटेस्ट एज वेल विच इज अंडर वे एट दी कांग्रेस हेड क्वार्टर वे राहुल गांधी इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू एड्रेस अ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस एट अबाउट वन पी so that means in a short while from now rahul gandhi is expected to leave his official residence from this particular 